morning guys welcome to today's video I was editing the last time we vlogged and I realized I was in this exact same sweater so sorry about that but that's just quarantine life but this is one of my favorite sweaters I got it from Patagonia and it's just so soft and comfy and it's been so cold and rainy here in California so I've just been keeping warm and wearing cozy stuff but I mean who hasn't because we can't go anywhere but today is Saturday it's the day before Easter and we have we don't really have a ton of stuff to get done, but there's just some things on my list that I want to get done before tomorrow. So we woke up really early this morning and we drove down to a seaside marketplace that we get our steaks from because we are going to make those tomorrow night for Easter dinner. And I believe they won't be open tomorrow. So we got up early, got there when they opened because it's a really popular place. So we did that, we got our Easter dinner and then we came home, we got some work done. We had like a few things we had to finish up. And then right now, there's Jacob. <laughs> right now we are doing some silk screening for my Kylie Created business, which if you guys don't know, I have a little hand lettering business that I do on the side and I have some mugs, some tea towels, and just a bunch of cute hand lettered stuff that I've designed. I designed some more tea towel designs and we are in the process of burning the screen. So that is what we're doing. It takes about 16 minutes. We've done this one time before and it was the first time we ever did it, so it was kind of trial and error. Like the first time we completely messed up, and then we did it a second time, and it worked out great. So hopefully the second time around we have a little bit more experience under our belts, and it'll go well. And then I think we have to wait to actually silk screen until it's completely dried. So I don't think we'll be able to do that until tomorrow or Monday or something. But for the rest of the day, I'm just going to clean up the house. I feel like that's all I've been doing, but I want to have it clean for tomorrow. What are you going to do, Jacob? Uh, probably find a project or something yeah? to work on. We also went to Lowe's and I got some potting soil because I need to repot one of my plants because it's gotten so big. And we also got some more propane because we were out of that and we need that to grill tomorrow's dinner. I think later we'll take Honey on a walk. <laughs> she just froze. I need to go now. I know. We'll go after um, the timer's up for the screen. But yeah, we don't have many plans for today. It's just another quarantined day at home. Nothing super exciting going on. Also, I got some leggings and another Young Living package in the mail, so I'll show you guys those later. show you I got some new leggings and they're actually from Fabletics I had never ordered for them before but they had a ton of cute colors and they have like a two pairs for $24 thing if you sign up for their membership and I've heard that they're really good quality and that's a really good price for like good quality leggings so I thought I would just try them out and this is the first pair this one doesn't have pockets I usually like my leggings to have pockets just because I normally don't carry a purse around, so it's nice to put my phone in it, but um, these ones do not have pockets. It has like a little coin thing right here, but um, it doesn't have pockets on the sides. But this is what they look like. I really like this pink color, and they're super tight. I got a size large just because my legs are like super long. I'd never had any pink leggings, so I wanted to get some because I think they're really fun and fun clothes always makes it more fun to work out. So this is the next pair. It's almost the exact same color, but a little bit different. And this one does have a pocket on the side, and then it's kind of mesh um, down the leg. But I really like that this one has a pocket, and I think this one's also like a capri length, like it's not the full length, which can be nice, um, especially when I'm wearing like Uggs or something. So. Yeah, I really, oh, it has a pocket on the other side too. I didn't know that. So that's cool, that has two pockets. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I think I like the first pair better. I don't know, I can't decide. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm excited to try them out and use them while I'm working out. Do you like them? You're sniffing them. Oh, hi, you just want some love? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'm down in the kitchen because I need to just wipe down all the countertops do the dishes, just make sure it's all clean. I just want everything to be nice and clean for tomorrow. I don't know why, I just wanna just relax tomorrow, not have to worry about cleaning. Honey's over there playing with a toy. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna put on some YouTube videos and just 
get this kitchen all ready. mostly done I just finished wiping down all of the countertops and then I have a ton of recycling over here that I need to take down Put this window down and then I just picked up the table and then I need to pick up all of honey's toys because they're like everywhere all over but I wanted to show you guys um, what I'm gonna be making for dinner tonight because it's a recipe that I found on Pinterest and we have been loving it we've made it like once a week now and it's super super easy so I'm gonna show it to you guys it's like a um, herb and garlic like chicken breast marinade thing so I basically just marinate the chicken in this and then Jacob grills it on our grill and it is so good so I will definitely show you guys um, the recipe. Let me make sure I have all the spices. So this is everything you need. So I have coriander, paprika, garlic powder, parsley, some salt back there, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. And then you obviously need the chicken breasts as well. And then also some pepper if you want pepper too. So here's the recipe if you want to do a screenshot of it really quick. So first you open up your big Ziploc bag. And then you're just gonna put it somewhere that's easy to pour into. I just put it on the counter. And then I start with the liquid products just because I feel like they're the hardest to get into the bag. One half cup of olive oil and one fourth cup of vinegar. Perfect, that was like exactly the perfect amount. And then, let's see if I can do this. Uh, then you're gonna pour it into your Ziploc. And then pour that in your Ziploc. And that's all the liquids that you need. The rest is just spices. So I'm sure if you didn't have one of these spices, it would be just as good. But obviously all of them combined is just amazing. So if you have all of them, I would definitely recommend doing the whole recipe. So the first one is two teaspoons of salt. One, two. The recipe also calls for two teaspoon minced onion, but I'm just not a big onion person. Um, so I just opt out for that um but i feel like it tastes really good without it so next is two teaspoons of roasted garlic i have my roasted garlic here we're gonna do two teaspoons so one two one half teaspoon coriander and then one half teaspoon of parsley and then one half teaspoon of paprika and then lastly, one half teaspoon of black pepper. So here is the mixture all together. And then I mix it up a little bit, but once you put the chicken in here, um, it mixes up a lot better. So, so yeah, this is basically what it should look like. So next I'm just going to clean the chicken breast and I get the free range thin sliced breast fillets. This is what they look like. I just get them from Ralph's at our local grocery store. Um, and I like the thin ones because I feel like the thin breasts soak in the marinade a lot better than super thick breasts so and they cook a lot faster so these are the ones i get i'm going to clean them and then i'm going to put them in the zippy lock bag with the mixture that we just made all the chicken inside and I'm just going to zip this all the way up and then I just basically mush it all around make sure all uh, of the chicken breasts are coated in it and then I stick it in the fridge and then Jacob will pull it out 30 minutes before he starts cooking it you can do this the day before and then keep it in the fridge and then it'll just soak longer um, but it's a super super easy recipe especially for the days you're just home in quarantine 
So it's a little bit later now and we are just starting to make dinner. We did a little craft. I'll show it to you guys if it ends up turning out okay, but it's gonna be a couple days process, so it'll probably be um, in the next vlog or the vlog after that, but I'm really excited. It's gonna be super cute. But like I said, right now we're making dinner. I have some broccoli ready to go in the oven once it preheats. Jacob is out there grilling the chicken. And then I also just set up a little Easter setup for us for tomorrow morning. I was just bored and had nothing to do, so I figured I would just set this up, have it ready for tomorrow. It's only gonna be the two of us, but I thought it looked better with the four placemats. And then my Aunt Kristen and cousin Katie dropped this cute little bunny envelope with some candy in it so that was really nice of them to do that but that's pretty much the update we haven't done really anything else i uploaded a vlog um jacob did some more work stuff i've been cleaning our bed sheets because last night honey had a little accident on our sheets and there's the oven for the broccoli so i will put that in and just keep making dinner so i meant to show you guys what the chicken looked like after but i already started eating Jacob already ate half of his, so, but this is what the chicken looks like after. Jacob's an expert griller. It looks so good. We've got our broccoli, have some strawberries, but seriously guys, this chicken recipe is so, so easy, especially when you have an expert griller. <laughs> so we're just gonna watch some NCIS and finish up our dinner. Mm -hmm. 